What's good? It's me, J. King, a.k.a. Coach OG. Shout out to all my OGs, OHG, OHEAD gang. Shout out to the IQ Ballers and the Clamp Camp. Yo, I have another replica build for y'all today. And this one is one that y'all were asking me about. I kept telling y'all it's just not going to be as good. It wasn't as good as my original. You know what I'm saying? But finally... And that's because he has been injured for quite some time. We had to give him some time to get back into the game, off his injury, get his game back up, show 2K that he's still that same baller, not maybe even better. But then, you know, 2K still wasn't quite doing him justice because people sleep on this guy. You know what I'm saying? He is he is that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think y'all sleep on him because he's a little older now and people don't respect what he did in his past because he don't have a ring. But to show with it you know me thinking about that made me think oh there's different versions of this and, and i was researching i have not seen too many people do other versions of this player and i have not seen one person i'm not saying this anybody but i know no major youtubers did because i've not seen that one person as much research as i was doing actually do this version of this of this player this player is one of my favorite point guards of all time if you know who i am you know me you know you've heard me talk about this before you know who I'm talking about, y'all. I finally got it for you. You've seen me do this before. We have Chris Paul, the point guard. That's right. The point guard replica build is back. And I bet you, I promise you, it's even better. Let's get into it. Choose whatever name you choose. Royalty in my name. So king it is. The position is point guard. Very fitting. Also known as point guard. He is right-handed and jersey number is three. Now, he is 6 feet tall, 180, 6'4 wingspan, and choose whatever body shape you choose. If you actually trying to choose his body shape, this definitely would probably change a little bit. I maybe go with like compact or something. But, I'm going to choose the fine. Why? Because I'm choosing myself at the end of the day. And I'm a real life gym rat, and I'm always the fine. Don't play with me. I'm cut out here. Look at my Instagram. Don't play with me. Keep it moving. 87 on the close shot. 89 on the driving layup. Now, I want to say this might be lower than the other one. I want to say I got the other one to like a 92. But 89 is not bad. You still get the long athlete, uh, which is uh, possibly, you know, a lot of opinions that it is the best layup package in the game. And you get a lot of other good ones too. So, 89 driving layup. Uh, me personally, I like the Kyrie Irving. Shout out to Uncle Willie. I believe that's who was that put me on to the, to the Kyrie Irving. And, uh, yeah, uh, I rock with Kyrie Irving. And 40 on the post control. That gives us 17 playmaking badges. I mean, playmaking. Jesus, I'm already at the playmaking. That's how excited I am about playmaking. Uh, 17 finishing badges. But, man, you, that, that's more. That's too many. We ain't got. We ain't even got enough, enough to put that on. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, keep it moving. 81 on the midi. 89 on the three ball and 81 on the free throw. So, the shooting has been a major improvement from the last one. That is the biggest thing. Uh, so we got an 89 three ball, which means we get gold agent three now. You know what I'm saying? And you still get the silver limitless. We didn't get the silver limitless range at first either. So now we get both those as well. You know what I'm saying? So that's a plus. 81 on the free throw, giving us 24 shooting badges. So now going down to playmaking, we're my favorite spot. Still got the 92 pass accuracy. Now this time, now I could have got the 92's ball control, but I decided to go with 89 because I didn't need a 92 because I'm going to put all Chris Paul stuff on. And Chris Paul now has one of the best sides of escapes. So I didn't really need to go 92 because the other ones I'm not going to use. So I was like, I'm just going to go 89, which is still really good. It's only three points off. Still really good. I get the animations I still want and need. And still, you know... Yeah, you, you get got all the badges and everything you need, so I, I, I didn't need to go 92. Uh, and then we're going to go 76 on the speed with ball, giving us 23 playmaking badges. So you know me, when I get my plus four badges, I'm putting them all on playmaking. Like, anytime I get extra badges, I put them on playmaking, straight up. You know what I'm saying? So, um, interior defense, we going 57 on interior defense, which is better than the last time, if I'm not mistaken. That's actually kind of crazy for a point guard uh, at six feet tall. But Chris Paul is Chris Paul, and that's because he's really shifty down low. Um, now he mostly just go for a steal. But this time, we had an 86. We had an 86 perimeter defense before. Now we have a 92. And if you know, you know. But just in case you don't, I will tell you, because I'm a nice guy. We get gold clamp. We get gold clamp. We was getting silver clamp, you know what I'm saying? I was one of the few people that had uh, the silver glove which we still got the silver glove, so I didn't sacrifice there either. But we got, now we have gold clamp as well. 
to go along with it. So we get the silver gloves. So 85 still. We're going to skip the block. Uh, 29 on the offensive rebound and 55 on the defensive rebound. We're going 76 on the speed, 80 on the acceleration, 50 on the strength, 70 on the vert. I want to say I had a higher vert before, but 70 is, is good enough. That's fine. And 95 on the stamina. So if I'm not mistaken, we also have better stamina. You know what I'm saying? That's for my dribble heads. So as far as takes, we get the shot creating takes, shark takes, play takes, and lock takes. Everything we had before. Of course, I want anchor breaking shots. And I, for now, I went on perimeter drip, bass drop. I switch up sometimes on my takes, but choose whatever take you want. It will not affect the build name. If you get the mom mentality, you can switch a take in case anybody was wondering. Uh, so we got Scott Skiles, Darius Garland, and Fred Van Vliet. Three very great point guards. But ultimately, we got the Los Angeles Clippers, Chris Paul. Now, let me know if y'all seen somebody put this out, because I ain't seen nobody do it. I did a lot of research. I didn't see anybody. So I feel like if I didn't get across, and I, I probably scrolled through hundreds of, of, of uh, pages. I saw maybe two people post the, the uh, New Orleans version, but because the overall in the New Orleans version is so high, you would have to take down a lot of the attributes so i don't think it would end up being as good because it's overall like i said it's overall when you got those high overall players you got to take more stuff down that you can you know put up so you know when you got it like that i kind of just leave it alone you know what i'm saying i try to go for the, the, the lower ones but you still gotta you know his lowest one would be the suns but at the same time because certain attributes the cap isn't as so it's like you want that in between you want like either low 90s high 80s you know what I'm saying? So I went with the Los Angeles Clippers because to me, honestly, I feel like that was his prime. Like, I feel like that was his best, his best, you know, time frame or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like you, you can't get no better than than that time. Um, I'm tripping. Uh, I need one more badge for now. We just go area wizard for now because I just want to make sure I can core these first. So we core that gold, of course. We're going to go gold automatically. Then we're going to go here. Um, I guess we might as well keep area wizard then. I'm not going to really I'm trying to think of what uh what else might work better. Let's go back down Punisher just in case I get the same size. Uh, cause that area wizard ain't gonna do nothing for us. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not gonna do nothing for us. I was just gonna put it on fast twitch, but we don't have enough. So, and I don't think I would add my plus four badges on finishing because that's not our strongest suit and trust me you have enough giant slayer alone is, is going to carry you a long ways so we're going to keep it there for now um space uh space creator on hall of fame you know how we do automatically hall of fame then we have a green machine and uh clutch shooter on bronze then we'll come down here we corn agent three we're gonna go uh, blinders on gold then we're gonna go limitless on silver then we're gonna come back up and we're gonna go bronze on the mini magician uh corner 2k labs and from what i've seen myself personally what i've experienced it actually works really good on bronze so we're gonna go hall of fame with a new threader hall of fame on the quick first step we can go down here we're gonna go clamp breaker record on core that we're gonna go killer combos Let's go bronze and handles for days. We don't dri over dribble in the first place. Actually, we don't need handles for days because I never really experienced a uh, low stamina like that in the first place. Um, bronze on the bell out. And we go bronze on the. Yeah, matter of fact, we don't. I don't do that many dribble. I dribble less on on next gen than I do on current gen. Like, I, I just don't feel like I need that many moves. And it, it doesn't activate till after three. So. Uh, we gonna go back to not using the unpluckable. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's just that's something I'm going with right now. You know what I'm saying? Not using unpluckable. Uh, we gonna do hyper drive. Suspicions we doing layups. That uh, that definitely works out. Um, let's go. Let's go. Floor general, Hall of Fame, bronze on the dimer, and hmm. Yeah, let's just go bronze on a special delivery as well. And that'll work. Let's keep it moving, shawty. Uh, we're going to go bronze on the ankle braces. Bronze on the pick dodger. Um, post lockdown bronze. And let me see. Let's go ahead and do menace. 
Um, oh wait, we we too high. I don't want to put that many on already. Let me get one more. One more. Uh, let's go rebound chaser bronze. Let's be able to catch some of the. Uh, you know what? Because this is something I have issues with personally when players are playing off ball and they seem to slide through me. So. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna use off ball pass on bronze. It just they seem to slide through just enough, especially when you're a smaller guard and they have a big card. You want to be able to bump them off as much as possible. So that's something new that I've been really acknowledging. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, we gonna of course we are gonna core clamp on gold. Um, we can go. We can do that there. Um, if you like me and you don't get a lot of intercepting pass anyway, although sometimes I realize I'm just getting bad animations, but you can go here. Um, I'll probably go bronze though, but because you're shorter, both of these are valuable badges. So it depends if you, if you are playing a lot of gambling, trying to go, you know, to the lane and, and play to help on the drives and at the same time kick out to your man, you might want to use challenger, which I do a lot. But I've now uh, adjusted myself a little bit and I've been getting the steals off of trying to do that. Um, once I get myself solid, if y'all want me to do a video on that, I can. Uh, I have not perfected it and that's mostly because uh, you get those latency issues with 2K where you're sliding and stuff. By the way guys, it's not you, it's the game. I'm, I'm recently coming, I mean I always knew it's the game, but I'm recently coming to a full conclusion that no part of that is me. <laughs> like I really thought some part of that was probably just me um, messing up, maybe I'm over gambling or something like that. But in actuality, it makes me move further than I'm trying to and that always messes me up. And then there's been extreme delays in the game on top of that. So, but yeah, that works right here, y'all. I personally go with the interceptor. Uh, if anybody else, like I said, if you're old, if you're gambling and especially playing uh three v three, you know this you might want to use the challenger because it'll be able to give you a contest a little bit further out. You know what I'm saying? So, and it gives you better it gives you better contest animations, and and that's the animations that will help you get better contest further out because you'll maybe get more of a launching animation versus just this you know half half arm you know what i'm saying thing that they be doing which i never understand just like when you try to go for an intercepting steal they give you that hands to the chest thing and the balls in the air or they make, make you reach low when the balls in the air which is the dumbest thing to me you know what i'm saying anyway but man there you have it man we got the point god i didn't think i was finally going i don't know why i did not think of this and i gotta apologize to everybody who asked me for this bill i really do apologize for not being able to deliver and not thinking i was still learning a lot of stuff at the time uh, I was kind of just gonna, it's funny because I didn't have half the information that I have now and I was still beating people out with these replica bills but now I'm able to do it a lot easier because now I know how to do it now I know what the actual I didn't know how to do it I didn't know about the eight up eight down I didn't know about the way I didn't know where to look to even find the stats I was kind of going on what people were doing and just revamping stuff and yeah there you have it man I, I gotta apologize for not getting this sooner but yeah I know I'm on it if there's any other ones that maybe I forgot about that y'all want me to do or any ones in the future y'all want me to do, let me know. I might already be on the way. I even got some 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 builds, some potential builds, some potential replica builds that I'm coming out with that I think might already be out. Because I figured something else out or, or correction, I have a theory on how to find out what builds are actually going to be replicas. Now, at first I was just going off of popular players with popular nicknames then i start going like well just a player with a nickname could possibly be, be a chance anyway because i didn't know about some of these other ones they're not that popular and some of the other popular one weren't getting out there yet and it's sometimes just a matter of time whenever they put in the game but i think i found out something else and i'll put out that once i test my theory because now i think i might have a couple bills that are just already out there but we're gonna see, man. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to all my OGs, OHG, OHEAD gang. Shout out to the IQ Ballers and the Clam Camp. And y'all know what to do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit that noti bell as well. And y'all know the motto don't be toxic. And let's ball.